Alright, so I had these two GoPad go karts that have been sitting around and doing nothing. I sold them off and bought this wreck. I couldn't resist the ad as it was only 200 bucks and a super good deal. So let's get this thing running and fix it up. This thing's sporting a 6 horsepower Honda motor, so I already know this thing's gonna go zoom in. Here we have the state of the art hydraulic do nothing pedal. And as much as I love high power vehicles with no brakes, I think it'd be nice to be able to slow down without grinding my shoes to the pulp on the cement at 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Oh yeah, did I mention there's no seat? Letting the chain right here grind up my leg like a chicken smoothie and a V8 blender on top here isn't at the top of my Christmas list. So let's get this seat right here and bolt it down. Also, from the looks of it, this tire doesn't look like it's having a very good day. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that ain't looking too good. Luckily, I got a replacement right here. Alright, now that we're actually getting to fixing the go-kart, let's start with the brakes that don't work at all. These are hydraulic brakes, and they usually fail because they don't have enough fluid in them, not because of mechanical failure. So let's check out the fluid reservoir. Yeah, that's bone dry. Let's put some more in there. Oh, shit. I just sprayed fluid all over. There we go. All filled. Let's put the cap back on and pump the brakes a little bit. They still feel like they're doing nothing. Let's unscrew this little port right here because this looks like it's supposed to be uns... That's not a valid reason. Let's unscrew this little bolt right here and see if we can get some fluid to pump out of it and all the air bubbles out of the line. Oh, it's already loose. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Oh, I see fluid in there. What's coming out? Alright, let's purge the line. Ah! Oh no! Well, that's just great. Those are ruined. Alright, we got it on and when I pump the brakes, they actually work. Yes! Alright, so it's the next day, and that doesn't look good. It seems all the oil spilled out of the engine when I kicked it. Alright, let's get all the oil out of this engine. We need to find out how to tension the chain so it won't fall off when I drive it. Right here, the engine slides back and forth, and that's where we're going to put a small weld to keep the engine forward and the chain tight. I've made a marking right here where I want to mark Yes, I've made a marking where I want to mark. <laughs> I've made a marking right here where I want to weld this piece of steel, and this will just hold the engine on. And this is just going to hold the engine back so the chain is tight and it won't fall off while I'm driving it. Oh, my clamp's on fire. Uh oh, there goes the breaker. The engine is almost fully attached, but we need something to clamp the engine to these poles right here. And that's what we're going to use these for. These are basically just going to screw into this block right here and hold the engine down. Now you can see the clamp right here, and we're just going to put another one right here. And this is the bottom of the go-kart. Alright, I got them both on, and the tape here is just to hold on the screw in case it wiggles loose. But we need to attach this to this gas pedal, or this rod right here. And you already know how I'm going to attach this thing. Yep, we're gonna duct tape it. The reason for using duct tape is it actually has a nib on the end, so the duct tape catches it really well. And I really don't want to weld it because it's aluminum, and there's a steel cable, and if I melt the steel cable, then it just won't work at all. Ooh, that looks like it works. Only thing we're missing now is the seat. Let's get on it. It's probably my fault for not checking if the engine worked before mounting it. Anyways, this engine is complete trash. The spark plug didn't even work, and it barely fired. So I took it off, and I just swapped it for this Predator gas engine, and this just came off my mini bike, so I know it works great. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so let's put that seat on. With the seat on and everything else completed, I think it's time for a ride. Or just a huge ass montage. Let's go. Oh!
had a rear tire deflate, then the chain fell off. This is the end of the video, guys. I hope you liked it. See you guys next time.